It's okay, Chris. It's Chris Carlberg, the creator of Buzz Cut and Pretty Hate Machine. Is that the other guy? Yeah, that's the name, yeah. The pretty Hate Machine. This is Pretty Hate Machine. This is Buzz Cut. They look similar. Yeah, they look very similar. When I uh, originally drafted the plans, uh, I had to have some parts machine for CNC. For instance, these parts right here, I had made. And I had about 20 of these made. And the whole reason I wanted to do two robots was I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get a, a really good walking robot under 50 pounds. So if I couldn't, I would be able to make something a little heavier. But I didn't want to make a very heavy robot. So if I couldn't get two, I would just have the one. So I had all these parts made, but I've made, I made most of the parts myself. Uh, it's very similar to a tank in that you have two sides. And uh, when I want to go forward, I have both sides moving together. I, want to, I throw them both in reverse, or I throw one in reverse, one forward, and it turns like a tank. Now, as far as the, the way it moves itself, is this crankshaft right here turns. As it turns, this thing guides the leg, so it's like a rowing motion. So it rows like that. And the leg itself is essentially a cup, an aluminum cup, that I put a racquetball in. And the racquetball provides a really good grippage and also it cushions it a lot because it batters the ground as it walks. Plus I put a spring in here so the thing compresses when it hits the ground too. So it has a little bit of a shock system to it. What kind of uh, motors are you using? Well for this one, I'm using some Makita motors. I'm using, I'm using the motor out of this drill. It's 14.4 volts. As you can see, I've got the battery packs up here. It's pretty torquey. It's a little faster than I want it to be, actually. It's a little too fast for the legs because it hops around. This one over here is a little bit heftier. This is a real brute. These are wheelchair motors that I got reassembled. They're very strong. They take 24 volts. Uh, it's a real brute. Even if I didn't have weapons, I think I'd be able to push my opponents into the corner. And the saws are powered by those weed eaters? Yeah. Uh, each weed eater is uh, one and a half horsepower. What I did is I just ma machined uh, out a thread for this uh, pulley, and I, I have timing belts powering the weapons. And I have two here, and I have one here, again for weight reasons. I have, I have one weed eater that powers both sets of blades. Are you going to have blades mounted on the back of yes, Pretty Hate? I'm not done with this yet, but it's going to be just like that, just with bigger blades. And each one's going to have its own motor, so if one does cut out or something happens, I still have another set of weapons. Okay. What kind of speed controllers are you using? These are Vantex, uh, RDFR 23s or what they call it. It's new this year. Uh, if anybody is familiar with Vantex, they're like the 22s, just beefed up a little bit. They are expensive. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive than buying two separate speed controllers. The Vantec is all your mixing internally. So I could have one joystick moving the robot. The reason why I built a walking robot this year is because of the weight advantage I get. I have a 50 pound robot that, I'm, that walks that's going to compete against 25 pound rolling robots. I think that huge weight difference is going to give me a big advantage. At least that's what I'm gambling on. Thanks a lot, Chris. Sure. Nice Good luck.